Order! Order! You are an incorrigible delinquent at times. <laughs> Behave yourself, man! In the run-up to the general election, we've been asking you about the subjects that matter to you. The impact of Brexit on agriculture is a big talking point amongst farming communities. Nearly half of all farming income in the UK comes from EU subsidies. Elaine Dunkley has been to Goldsland Farm near Cardiff to find out more. My heart and soul is in, is in these sheds and in these cows. It's part of who I am. Right. My name is Abby Reader. I'm a dairy farmer from South Wales. What are the big issues in the run-up to this election for you? The big issues are going to be trade, labour and investment within agriculture. Brexit is going to be a huge impact. The single market is personally extremely valuable to us. We do need to start getting appropriate trade deals in that allow our goods to move quickly and easily. On this farm here we produce milk, we produce meat, and we produce some crops. They're all perishable. They need to move. We can't hold on to them. When they're ready to go, they've got to go. So we can't have delays on borders. We can't have tariffs stopping anything from being sold on a shelf because it will just go to waste. One of the key concerns is definitely going to be thinking about sourcing labor to do various jobs on the farm. Um, and agriculture uses a lot of labour from within the EU. Uh, at the moment, in farming we use, I think it's about 250,000 people from within Europe. Abby is also worried about losing EU subsidies. Last year, farmers in the UK received more than £2.5 billion from Europe. The Conservative Party had guaranteed subsidies till 2020. Is that enough for farmers? No. Probably the best example I can give you on that are these calves. I had a calf born yesterday, a heifer calf. In two years' time, she will come into my herd ready to milk. In that amount of time, she will have cost me 1,800 to 2,000 pounds to rear. We're already thinking beyond 2020 just for these youngsters before I'll start to turn a profit from them. That is how long-term we're looking. This general election will determine who will steer the course for Brexit and Abbey wants agriculture high up on the political agenda. We are a massive part of the economy and I hope that politicians realise how important we are. I want to hear from them that they are going to champion agriculture. Um, I want to hear that they care about this industry. Farming is just so linked to what people do and I want to see politicians notice that and say we're going to stand up for you. And if you want to find out more about what policies the parties are offering you or indeed find out how to contact us with an issue you want exploring, then our website is where you need to go. That's bbc.co.uk forward slash election 2017.